So, of course, we're thrilled to be back in the kitchen with my good friend, Chef Jamil, today. Jamil, what are you making for us yeah. today? Well, like we said before, we're doing a nice yellowtail snapper, if you can see right here, nice and fresh. What we like to use is we use the skin of the snapper to keep it together because we're going to make it almost like a stew. Oh, basically, right. okay. and basically at the restaurant we do use the skin on the snapper because it has a lot of great flavors to it. It gets mm -hmm. nice and crisp. So we're gonna start with some oil right here on the pan just to get that going. And then right here we got some from Tim sea salt. We're oh, just yeah. gonna uh, yes. from, so right we, from the sun from the sun that sun sea salt. <laughs> so we can you know kind of keep it local even though we go from all the way to Indonesia. We got a little salt <laughs> and pepper right here. So what I do is I usually start with the skin first so it can get nice and crispy. And a hot pan, I see. And a hot pan. Yeah. Okay. And then we have some of the nice uh, some, uh, heirloom tomatoes right here. We got some yellow and red. And what I, that the, what we do with this is we take some lemongrass and uh, garlic. And then we just marinate it, so we're going to actually cook it with the fish. Right. You know, it gets that, that garlic aroma. Some cilantro, a lot, you know, Indonesia, Thai, Mexican. Mm -hmm. A lot of the mm -hmm. people, they love cilantro. Some scallions, and we got some uh, different uh, color, uh, colorful uh, microgreens with flower, edible really flowers. And Those are gorgeous. That's kind of, yeah. it's very cool. Right here, we got the sauce. You know, it's made because we don't have time mm -hmm. to do it, but it has lemongrass. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that uh, Indonesian uses a lot is lemongrass. Uh, you know, Kind of some of some of the stuff at night times for the uh, this is a, a lunch uh, item for the night time. Well, the other things that we do is that we add some lemongrass to our rice for flavor. And I have a question about the sauce because it's you know it it looks so decadent, but and yet decadent. it's not you know thick and heavy on the cream. Right. So what is the base ingredient then? We well, got coconut milk. Oh. And then when we do the sauce, you kind of do a paste, you know, turmeric, cinnamon, ground cinnamon, uh, macadamia nuts. We take some oh, macadamia nuts and we get it so they can actually get the nice uh, nut, nutty flavor. It smells uh, amazing. We're going to oh, add the tomatoes. Yeah. You're going to put the tomatoes. And, you know, if you like to make it very spicy, mm -hmm. You would do some uh, bird chilies, very bird spicy. Chilies? Bird chilies? They call it nice bird love to eat them, I guess. No. <laughs> the birds eat those? <laughs> but that hot then. Very, very spicy. Oh, okay. Now, what I, <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> no, what I like to do with them, I just throw them in there. Uh, kind of like, because if I cut them and with the seed and stuff like that, it's going to get very spicy. Okay. But, you know, you still get a little bit of the flavor when it comes around it. Now, do you pull them, them out? Huh? To serve, do you pull them out? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, we actually leave it there so people can actually see it. And it's up to them. If, if you see it right here, we're going to start making this too, get the fish too nice and cooked. Oh, it looks delicious. Right here. So it comes and then, in the curry. Oh, wow. yeah. And then on, right on top, we put some fresh um, cilantro. Now, the cilantro you want to do almost at the end, and the green onions basically is a lot of just to get, get a lot of the green and, and different flavors and things like that for that. And the one thing that we, uh, when we do the sauce, we use kaffir lime leaves. Lime this leaves? Kaffir, yeah. I thought those were bay leaves. Good? No, if you can oh, smell them. they smell way better than a bay leaf, Linda. Mm. Uh, <laughs> they're very that citrusy. Wonderful. So what I like you guys to do is just go ahead and throw it in there. Okay. Uh -huh. And then we're Sorry, getting right. down to our final minute or <laughs> in so In the final here, minute. So, we'll so I'll have her, and she's going to do the rice. Okay. This is very simple. This is for presentation. Okay. I'm going to do the rice. So you want to put very good and compact it very nicely okay. in there. Okay. And that's actually a really good serving idea for home too. For home, so it's, you can know, yeah, make it look, make it look nice. Make it look like it's chef yeah, made. Like a <laughs> mixture. Yeah. But let's I, put I a little, little more. Press it hard, little more, more so okay. you can press it very hard. I just throw okay. it on the plate, so oh, this is yeah. a good little Me trick. Too. <laughs> and beg them to good? eat it. Beautiful. Press, press it. Okay. Press, press, press like you like you don't oh. like it. There you go. Keep okay. pressing so you can get nice and mole. And then you're just gonna go ahead and flip it right here on the plate. Oh, let's see her. Did there you, you get go. enough? Pull yeah. it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Look right. how beautiful that Look looks. That. Like a sandcastle. Like right. a sandcastle. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, as Jamil continues to plate this, uh, tell us the name of the dish again. It's a, uh, it's a what do you call it? It's a curry uh, snapper. Uh, a curry snapper. snapper that is from an Indonesian flavor. And they are celebrating Indonesian cuisine at Michael's throughout the month of August. Chef Jamil has paired this with a buttery Chardonnay as well. Exactly. So thank you for that. Thank you. And we are look, looking forward to sampling. So we'll let the beautiful plate be part of the picture so for just another So let's go ahead moment. and just look a little bit right oh, here. I was going to say, you don't have to cook it long. No, no, you know, no this, nice and this, quick. The beautiful, the, this snapper is just beautiful because you can cook it nicely. All and right, well, Jamil, I'm going to say thank you to you as we finish plating. And a big thanks to Jamie and Kelly. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great Suncoast view.